back is Katie, the moth hunter. You're looking at this, a single strand of a web. See it moving? It is attached to nothing but the top of it. And this is pretty hard to Google to figure this out, what kind of web this is. Because it looks very webby, yet it's very strong on the wall. And my theory is that it is a cocoon that when I'm, I'm the moth hunter, I hunt for moths because I know that once you have one fly moth in your home, you have a lot of eggs that it has just laid and you don't want moths. So I am trying to prevent little cocoons from becoming a moth. So when moths are flying around, what are they doing? They're not eating. They are laying eggs. And if they're laying eggs like on this wall, one of those little eggs hatches, it might come down a, a silk thread and eat dust, fibers, and other fibers. And I just did an episode earlier that talked about my admission that I think I've been dealing with moths for two years. I don't get pest control in here to bomb it with a lot of chemicals and stuff, but you know, we just try to clean the source of wherever the moth situation is and it goes away. Um, but my ceiling, oddly enough, has been a suspect for a number of years because, let me see if I can show you, I've been vacuuming them up. These little things hanging from the ceiling, I have a textured ceiling, okay? So this is textured, so it all looks like, they all look the same. But these, see that shadow? That thing, I think, I'm finally admitting, might really be a cocoon. So if a moth, as they do, flies here at night, when we turn on the lights, the moths come up here and they just sit on the ceiling. What are they doing? I don't think they're just shooting the breeze with each other. I think they're laying eggs up there. And I think that this thing was an egg and came out on a single silk thread, comes down and starts to eat cotton fibers and other fibers that these clothing moths, a little bit different from a pantry moth, likes to eat. Maybe that ceiling fan, which is full of dust, has been spinning around and kicking up dust onto the ceiling, which makes it like a field of food for these guys. So tonight I am sucking up these cocoons with my Dyson. It's doing a great job. I'm then gonna head over to that bureau and wipe it down. I did find a lot of these little cocoons above that dresser bureau. Um, where there's a lot of dust on top of it. Because whoever climbs on top of a stool to clean the top of a dresser, for crying out loud, it just can't be done all the time. But let me tell you one other tip. Um, the drapes are things that get overlooked for cleaning, but they're cotton fibers. There's a lot of dust that comes on um, draperies. I'm allergic to dust, so I should know that I should be washing these drapes maybe once a month at the very most, at least once every six months, but I forget. So I just washed them today, it had been a while. It had been probably a year since I had washed them, but they just collect a lot of dust and they're susceptible for, or they're like targets probably for these, these, these moths. So anyway, I wanted to show you that and I'm gonna spin back over here to the original really big one that I wanted to show you because on a next episode, not sure which one yet, but on a next episode of The Moth Hunter, I'm going to take you into my downstairs bathroom and we're going to look at actually a lot of these that are happening in some fake flowers that have definitely never been washed and have been in the same place for six years. You can imagine how dirty they are, how dusty they are, and I'm going to show you a lot of what I think is evidence of maybe moths like this hanging out in there. Okay, this looks spooky. This is Katie the Moth Hunter on a mission to vacuum the ceiling. Tune in next time.